Mr. Barnaby Wallace? Uh, it's Brick. A nickname. Brick. I don't like anybody snooping into my private life. Excuse me, what's what's the story here? I mean, uh, why do you do all this? Mrs. Lockridge, what are you doing in here? Waiting. Hmm. I said eight o'clock sharp. It's now nearly eight thirty. The deal was I start at nine. Since I'm I'm Lionel Lockridge, uh -huh. and this lovely lady on my left is uh, August, my wife. Very pleased to meet you. <laughs> or something. Okay. You can't put words in your mouth. And you need to do it. It's standard protocol. You need your family and your family needs to know that they can do something to help you. This is a horrible thought. But Ned and Olivia have done all kinds of things to keep your son away from you. Are you sure this isn't some sort of ploy and that your son still isn't alive? Just received this email. They uh, want you to see it right away. Did you forward this to Rick or Eric? No, not yet. Should I go ahead and do that? I'm not 100% sure I like the merger, but if you stay on top of your game and your father does, then maybe it won't be a complete disaster. You know what happens in his office better than anybody does. What about our family business, Jack? This used to be a family business. When did you stop caring about our family? That's what Dad would want, Billy. You know what, Victoria? This event is as much your father's as it is Jack's. Oh, I, I don't want to see your kid. Welcome, Vicky. Welcome home. You have the answer. Keep searching. You'll find it. I know. I mean, things could be improving. Or not. Actually, maybe this was a mistake. I, it was my fault. Yes. And Billy and Kristen and I used to have these crazy pizza parties and... <laughs> I went to your mom, and I blackmailed her. So, your final destination destroyed her mind, her soul. You! But I've played one on TV. Yay! Being an actress, I do feel, you know, the need to at least keep it up, keep the appearance up, because, I mean, that is part of my job. How did everything just get to be okay like that? Uh, is that true? <laughs> it's not something that you would talk about at a restaurant necessarily loudly. You might say something to your girlfriend, sure. But you're not going to like, hey, hey, I'm going to us. It's just, why? Stop goofing around. Drives me crazy. And I feel bad that Yolanda's taking this so personally, and it's awful. I don't blame her. It's a lot to take. Actually, that's the most sane reaction. Seriously. To stay in your room with all this nuttiness going on, that's a good sign of her mental stability. I just don't want to judge her. I don't like to judge anybody, really. So, I mean, I hear it, and unless it happens to me, it's just not part of my reality. Did you kill anyone? No, not yet. Basically, I get paid to pretend. It's just crazy. <laughs>